A sheriff's office in Lewis County, Washington, just can't seem to get their facts straight about a pretty important case. They found Eric Christensen dead in the woods with a gunshot wound, and officials told his brother he was either stabbed by a stick or had a heart attack because they are so close to being the same thing. The next story was that he smoked lethally laced marijuana in a state where recreational marijuana is legal. There's one thing the sheriff's office didn't do. They didn't charge the man who admitted to shooting a gun nearby. The gun that was shot nearby, well, the, the forensics from that gun matched the bullet in the victim's chest. Joining us now, Jusha Sir Ellison and Pilar French. Pilar is an attorney for the victim's family. Zusha is a reporter for the Wall Street Journal who wrote the recent article, A Hiker Died with a Bullet in His Chest. Why did police say he was stabbed with a stick? Um, I'm guessing neither of you have the answer of why they, they said this, but uh, Pilar, I'll start with you. Why do you guys, why does the family think that they've heard so many stories? Uh, we don't know. All we know is that we need an independent investigation at this point, which is why I, I am representing Corey. That's my goal, is to uh, get the Washington uh, Governor Inslee or Prosecutor Jonathan Myers to refer this matter to be investigated and handled by the Washington State Attorney General. If I don't get relief there, then I'll be looking to the U.S. Department of Justice or the FBI. Wow. All right, Zusha, you, as reporters, we always get phone calls with sort of these crazy stories about this happened. You know, it, 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 when you read your, your article, which is fascinating, I'd suggest anybody do it, it reads as though it, it sort of can't be true. It's almost too crazy to be true. When you first heard about this, what made you think, all right, there might be something here? The first thing I noticed about this story is that the sheriff said that he had died of being poked by a stick and then later found a bullet in him. And that's really what caught my attention because I would say most police officers in America would be able to recognize a bullet wound as opposed to a stick wound. Have you found the sheriff's department to be on the up and up, forthcoming with information, transparent, or are they, they stonewalling here? So yeah, we contacted the sheriff for comment and they declined to comment. I contacted every deputy who worked on this case for comment. They also declined to comment. So they haven't been very forthcoming with our reporting. Um, I'll explain a little about the case. So a bunch of hikers came upon this body in the woods of Aaron Christensen. He's a 49 year old musician from Portland. He's an experienced hiker. And all of these hikers who found him said, we think he's been shot. But the responding deputy, when he showed up, he said, no, I think he might have died of a heart attack or been poked by a stick. And he called off the detectives who were on their way, who could have examined the scene and said, don't worry about coming to the scene. And he hauled the body down off the mountain with the help of some other folks. So detectives never got to really examine the crime scene as it was. Villar, how worried are you all, given how much for lack of a better term, water there is under the bridge uh, in terms of possible evidence. And, and granted, we miraculously have somebody who said, I, I fired a weapon and the weapon matches the bullet. How worried are you guys that so much evidence has been destroyed that, that really there can't be justice in this case? Uh, I haven't lost hope. Uh, we've reviewed the file and we see a lot of, uh, at least based on what we have, some stuff has been withheld from us, but from what we know, there are, are many other avenues that can be pursued to find the answers uh, for what happened in this case. Uh, yet, um, Prosecutor Meyer advised on April 13th that he was declining to prosecute. And when we asked him to refer this matter out, he advised he didn't think there could be anything further done. Uh, lately, after the Wall Street Jour Journal article, thank you, Zusha, um, he has reached out again and basically wants to know what it is that we think about this case or what the investigator wow. who's been hired by the family uh, thinks about this case. The family may have to bring their own tort claims act. I'm not involved in that part. There's another lawyer involved in that part. My mission is to get right, the we, uh, unfortunately, investigation. 
Yeah, unfor unfortunately, we got to run. It's 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 amazing okay. all the details that the Zushin uh, laid out. Uh, great reporting, Pilar. Thanks so much. Uh, we'll follow it. We appreciate it. Come Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.